Justin. Justin here from Subboy Media, and today it's 9:30 at night, and I was trying to get a video up today, but I was having PC issue after PC issue after PC issue. I eventually tried, you know, restoring my PC. As you guys know, if you follow my social media, and uh, that didn't work. Um, but in me trying to find fixes for my gaming issues, I actually run across. A few fixes that can actually help for people who just use their computer regularly and experience these kind of issues. But um, the kind of issues we're talking about are if uh, maybe just one specific part, like the taskbar or maybe an app or something, uh, freezes up temporarily for about 30 seconds or so, or permanently and requires it to be reset. Or in the more dramatic case, if your entire system locks up and all you see is whatever is on your desktop at the time or whatever you're doing and uh, you have to hard reset because your keyboard and mouse don't work anymore. Uh, this is actually a common issue that has occurred to a lot of people, especially people who have two hard drives, like a solid state with operating system and a regular 3.5 inch hard drive that just has data on it. Um, and it all occurred after Windows 10 anniversary was installed. So um, I'm going to show you two fixes that have been proven in the forums to work for various people depending on what the cause of their issue is, because Microsoft even said the cause for this issue there's multiple different culprits so hopefully these two I'm gonna show you help you out a little bit and uh, if not I'll see if I can find some more fixes and make videos about them but uh, we're gonna do the easy one first you're gonna wanna go to your to your bar down here your search bar and type control panel go to your control panel uh, go to system and security power options and here's your <clears throat> your thing. Now whether you have power saver or balanced uh, selected doesn't matter. You're going to want to hit change plan settings for the one that you have selected. And you're going to want to go to change advanced power settings. Now this little dialog box is going to open up and you're going to see a bunch of options but you're going to want to find PCI Express. Uh, expand that and expand the only option in there, link state power management. And uh, you see it's automatically set to moderate power savings. Uh, you're actually going to want to turn that off and hit apply and okay. Now doing this will obviously make your machine probably use a little bit more electricity. So if you're super anal about your electricity bill and you don't want your computer to use a lot of resources in electricity while it's sitting idle or while you're not doing something super important, you might not want to turn this off. Even though from my understanding it doesn't really affect it that much that you actually see a giant noticeable difference in your electricity bill. But this is one of the uh, one of the ways it's been shown to work for a lot of people. Um, so that's the easy one, obviously. Doesn't require any advanced physics or theoretical physics. But now we're going to do the little more advanced one. Uh, the reason I say it's a little more advanced is because it requires you to edit the registry. And uh, some people aren't comfortable with that, but it's really easy. <clears throat> so uh, I'm actually going to, in the description, I'm going to have the path you're going to follow just in case you, don't, you, don't, you can't follow along in the video. But you're going to want to the, hit the Windows key in R which will do the run function and you want to type regedit or regedit however you want to pronounce that R-E-G-E-D-I-T hit OK that was my dog barking by the way if you heard that if you didn't then I might sound crazy but uh, hit yes and this is what it's going to open up to it's actually going to open up to this I don't know why that other one was open but uh, you're going to want to open H key local machine then you're going to want to go down here to system open that one uh, control set 001 open that one uh, services open that one up and you're gonna see a huge list of all this stuff and you're gonna find the one that says app x s v c or app x service or whatever you want to call it click that you don't have to open it just click the actual folder and you're gonna see all these things in here you're gonna to wanna to double click start which is a d word document um, now the value data is gonna be by default set to three so anyone who hasn't done this before it'll say three on yours but uh, you're going to want to change that to 4, which is kind of like the off setting. It's like the 0 to the 1. Because 3, it's on by default. 4 will turn it off. And uh, just in case you guys don't know what this is, this is something that was installed on Windows 10 that uh, helps the store, the Microsoft Store function a little bit better. Now, one little disclaimer I'm going to give you right now is if you actually use the Microsoft Store that's built into Windows, like if you download apps rather than programs off the internet, this will inevitably end up screwing up the uh, the way that the Windows Microsoft built-in store works. 
So I wouldn't recommend this fix if you actually use the Microsoft Store, but I don't, and I know a whole lot of people, especially gamers, don't use it. So I chose to disable it. It's, uh, it's helped out a lot, actually, for me. I used to experience the full system lockup when I'm just trying to do stuff on the computer, not just playing games, but it happens more frequently while I'm playing games. But uh, I've tested both of these methods for just regular PC use, and they've seemed to make everything a whole lot better. Haven't experienced the lockup since I've done these. Um, I purposely reverted them back to the original settings, so that way I can show you guys how to change them. But uh, these have proven to work for me and a whole lot of people. But like I said, Microsoft has stated that um, there's a lot of culprits that can cause this. So I'm not saying that these are definitive fixes that will fix everyone's problem. I'm just hoping if you stumble upon this video, you're lucky enough to be one of those people that this one fixes your problem. Now, I haven't tested it for gaming. Uh, I just know this fixes everything but gaming, basically, for me and whatever's causing my issue. But um, I'm going to try it out on gaming and I might post a little update video. Or if I find some more fixes, like I said, I'll update those. But uh, after you edit the registry, uh, you're going to need to restart your computer for the effects to you know, take action, for it to actually take effect. And then uh, just see if it fixed it for you. And if it did, um, just tell me down below. And if it didn't, I'll see if I can figure something out. But it um, looks like it didn't necessarily lie to you. If I can get this video rendered before I go to bed, because I have to open tomorrow at work, so I can't stay up all night. But um, if I can get this video to render, it will be a super late upload, but I will get one out on Tuesday like I promised. But uh, if not, you'll see it tomorrow for sure. Tomorrow being uh, Wednesday, the 11th. Well, um, that's, that's pretty much the fixes. Um, if it helped you out, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and uh, subscribe. Uh, don't forget to check out our website as well, uh, subvoymedia.webs.com. Uh, my name is Justin from Subway Media, and I really hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I really hope that I was able to help somebody out. Um, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.